हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो सो अमृथा हैज़ कॉमेंटेड फ्यू क्वेश्चन दैट वर आज टू हर ड्यूरिंग हर इंटरव्यू सो शी आज मी टू यू नो टेल द आंसर्स सो आई हैव पुट द आंसर्स फॉर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो आई हैव टूक फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द वीडियो दैट आई हैड मेड यस टे सो आई थिंक टू क्वेश्चन ओनली so let's go and discuss the answers we'll uh, discuss the uh, answers uh, so how do you roll back to a previous building jenkins so basically whenever uh, you are triggering a build so in dashboard you can see the build like previous builds too if you'll go under the build history section uh, click on the build number you want to roll back to and re trigger the build so that the pipeline can trigger again or else what you can do um, go to the job page navigate to the jobs page in jenkin and uh, under the build history there must be because whenever you are create whenever you are triggering uh, the pipeline script there must be an artifact which must be created so you can deploy it you can uh, you can download it and redeploy it so this uh, i think you can answer then how do you connect to kubernetes cluster so for that kubectl is required and it should be installed and this file should be present in this path so that you can connect to the cluster basically we can communicate with kubernetes cluster using api only now what configurations are required in an ingress resource to route traffic to services so uh, routing can be done in uh, routing are done in two ways host based routing and path based path based routing so for that we have to install ingress uh, controller and then uh, we have to create the ingress service in which we have th this will be a yaml file where we have to mention like uh, which uh, url or which host or which which path you want to route to which uh, service and at which port you have to mention the target port and everything and in dns whatever dns record you are uh, using like route 53 or whatever go daddy whatever dns uh, service you are using you have to create a record over there to uh, point traffic to the ip of the ingress controller then how do you troubleshoot the high cpu utilization issue using top command uh, you have to check that which, which process is consuming cpu and if that process is stuck then we have to kill the process if it is stuck somewhere or we have to check for background process if it something is consuming uh, you know cpu then we have to um, so um, how many slave nodes are there in your jenkins setup so basically uh, usually like what i have done one master node and three slave nodes only if the uh, you know the pipelines are increasing we were not we were just doing this pipeline script earlier or everything was manual so uh, like currently we were we have kept this only and it was also because of cost optimization but how many services are running in your project you can tell uh, like kubernetes services whatever namespaces docker services and what databases you can tell all this microservice architecture you are using and all this you can include like in kubernetes services you are using the namespaces then the uh, ingress then the uh, load balancer uh, then you can mention ports deployment stateful set in docker uh, like you are using the services of uh, you know you are creating the services uh, like uh, uh, in the database and all that you are using the um, uh, docker file then how many jenkin pipelines have you worked on so by what type of pipelines are there there are, there are you know script uh, you can say that you you have usually worked on the scripted pipeline where you have to write the script or you can also say that uh, through uh, gui uh, you have done it 
like uh, graphical user interface with um, also you can mention our multi branch pipeline because most of the organization are using that too and how much you have created the jenkins pipeline you can say you have created five to six pipeline script and you're working on maintaining it and because the thing is that pipeline requirement doesn't come that frequently so uh, main pipeline script that you have written you can tell because once they are ready they will be used uh, so that's why then how to run any command in background for that no hub and ampersand is used and do you know how import resource data so basically we have to first mention that data configuration whatever we want to export uh, sorry import and then uh, we have to run this command uh, giving the uh, uh, you know name uh, mentioning the name so that it can import that data then what is difference between all load balancers like basically there are uh, two kind of most important load balancers that we use uh, first is in uh, layer 4 that we uh, use that is mostly network load balancer and uh, the second is the uh, uh, second is application load balancer that we are using at layer 7 so basically layer 4 uh, it will handle the traffic of tcp and udp protocol and layer 7 will work for http and https so basically for routing whenever the application is up and running what we can see when we hit the url we use http https so on that uh, you know for that application load balancer is working so application load balancer especially tells that if the application is running or not but with network load balancer we cannot make out that if the application is run uh, like up or not so uh, these are the differences you can tell uh, so uh, i have included the questions that were asked in comment also a few question of yesterday video that i thought uh, because i think vikrant and um, uh, Vikrant and Shilash they have mentioned uh, the answers in comment section so I thought of uh, putting my uh, inputs in uh, in few questions in answers so I have uh, uh, listed them too in this video so that's all that's all for today's video I hope you liked it and uh, till then take care bye